why I use both Google Drive and Dropbox. So I got a tweet from one of my followers, uh, Wayne, who wrote in to say, quick question Evan, why both Dropbox and Google Drive when you can have most of the similar features on Drive? So here's the thing, okay, I love both services. Dropbox I started first and Dropbox I use for a number of reasons. First of all, it's my hard drive. So all of my main files are saved to my Dropbox. So it provides me with backup. So if I ever lose anything, I can always find it. I have a computer at my office and a laptop at home and my files are automatically synced in between them. So if I update something at the office, it's automatically on my computer at home. And if you ever want to install a new computer, all I have to do is download Dropbox, leave it to run overnight and all my files are instantly there. So it's, it's amazing. And again, I guess if I'm working remotely from somebody else's computer, I can always get access to my files. So I, I love Dropbox. Uh, I, I've had my whole team on it. We share files, we share folders. Uh, so if they update it, it automatically updated on my computer. It's a, just a, a fantastic way to share files and update them and work on projects together. The problem I started facing, why I started using Google Drive was, the videos. These videos, these videos were killing my Dropbox. So when I make these videos, sometimes it's as much as 20 gigabytes. It's a ton of videos. I got a new camera, it's high resolution. I make 14 videos typically in one sitting. So it's a, a lot of video content. And what was happening was, first of all, I don't have a ton of space on my Mac Air. It's flash drive, doesn't have a ton of space. So I don't want my videos on my laptop. So what I would do is I take my camera, I put them on my office computer, which has tons of space, download them there, and then I share a folder on Drive with Christina, my video editor, so the files are only shared between my office computer and Christina, and it doesn't come to my home laptop, which would suck up all the space and suck up all my bandwidth at home because the residential internet is not as fast as my commercial internet. That is the main reason why I use Google Drive. I like some of the, uh, the file sharing. So you can, uh, if you're working on like that Google Drive document, the Excel type of document spreadsheet, two people can edit it at the same time. That's pretty cool. But for the most part, I only use Google Drive to share my video files, which are huge with Christina and I use Dropbox for everything else. So there may be a way to do it within Dropbox. If there is, I haven't figured it out. Uh, the one negative with Drive is you can't throttle the, uh, the speed. So if I'm at the office and I put my videos on and they're going to Christina, I have to do it overnight because otherwise it just shuts down my internet. I can't do anything else except sync my files. Where with Dropbox, you can set limits as to how much bandwidth it takes up so you can still do your regular work, your regular browsing, whatever you need to do while it's being synced. Maybe that'll get fixed. Hopefully that'll be, get fixed in, in uh, not too long. There's a lot of people complaining about it. But that's why I use both Dropbox and Google Drive. Maybe a little technical, but uh, that's my answer. Anyways, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for the great question. If you have a comment or question, leave it below in the comments section. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon.